Thanks, Victoria. I'm starting off on an optimistic note because there are fewer showers around today. And if you catch some sunshine, it's actually feeling pleasantly warm at the moment. Temperatures in Dorset around about 15 degrees and we're going to see them a degree or so higher. So as you can see from the latest satellite picture and radar combined, there are some showers, but very isolated in comparison to the last couple of days. And we'll see more sunshine into Wales and southwest England later this afternoon. But I just want to draw your attention to this mass of cloud, a change in the weather story arrives through the night tonight. More on that in just a moment. So for the remainder of the afternoon, the showers will confine themselves mostly to the east a little later on today. Still one or two heavier ones with some hail in there. The west will see more in the way of sunshine coming through and temperatures should peak 10 to 18 degrees. That's about where they should be actually for this time of year. So as we go through the night tonight, the showers will fade away. Clouds starts to develop down into the southwest and here's that low pressure moving in. So by the end of the night, it'll just be pushing towards a southern fringes perhaps of Northern Ireland. Temperatures should hold up at around four to nine degrees, so not a cold start to Thursday, but a change in the story as this low pressure moves in. And actually it's going to bring some heavy rain, but it's going to bring some very unseasonably strong winds, particularly to the southern flank of that low. So that could have quite an impact. So the rain will move its way through Northern Ireland into southern Scotland, northwest England through the day. It'll be fairly showerier through central and southern parts of England, but the winds gusting widely 30, 40 miles an hour, perhaps in excess of 55 to 60 on exposed at southwest coast. So obviously with the cloud, with the wind and the rain around, those temperatures are going to be down a good three or four degrees on what we've got today. The low pressure is going to continue to drift its way east. We're going to grind to a halt across northern England tomorrow. Again, still plenty of strong winds to the south of that low. And that's going to drive in more wet weather across England and Wales. Gusts of winds potentially 40 mile an hour plus maybe as much as 50 to 60 miles an hour on exposed coasts. And that at this time of year is very unusual. And for those outside gazebos that you've erected in the gardens, might be worth making sure they are well and truly anchored. Top temperatures by Friday, 7 to 14 degrees. Now, on Saturday, a brief lull in the story, a quieter story, a drier story for many, before more wet weather piles in from the west gradually for the second half of the weekend. Victoria.